Well, in Regina, uh, I asked my colleagues uh, here to keep me some items that were surrendered recently, and we have, amongst other things, uh, throwing stars, uh, which is an illegal weapon, so we have it now, but it's going to be given to the police. We'll give it to the police. We don't keep that type of stuff. What we judge inappropriate, like a bottle of shampoo, for example, could it doesn't have to go to the police, but throwing stars, for sure, yeah, would be shared with the police. So one thing to remember is about the liquids and gel regulation. Uh, so we know that liquids and gel have to be in a small uh, containers of 100 millimeters or less and they have to fit all together in a clear plastic bag like this one that would be an example of the limit per passenger so if you're traveling a family it means that all family members are allowed to have one bag like that so you can share for your carry-on if you have more than that it's totally okay simply it has to go in your checked luggage keep in mind that uh, liquids is also about gels uh, so it includes uh, things like uh, peanut butter for example Nutella toothpaste uh, items that we don't necessarily think as of liquids, they're not liquids, but they're part of the gel category. There's also regulation on inorganic powders. It includes salt, it includes sand, uh, it includes uh, bath salt, cooking salt, uh, spice mixes very often contain salt. You're allowed to have up to roughly 350 millimeters of inorganic powder in your carry-on. So it's roughly the size of a soda can. And if you have more, again, it's possible. Simply it's a question to place it in your checked luggage. So it's now legal to fly with cannabis in Canada. Uh, keep in mind that it remains illegal to cross international borders with uh, cannabis. Whether you go out of Canada or you come in, uh, it's illegal to cross international borders. If you want to fly domestically, it's allowed. You are allowed to have up to 30 grams of uh, recreational cannabis. It's roughly the size of a sandwich bag, a clear sandwich bag. Um, and if it's medical, then you're allowed to have up to 250. However, make sure you have your uh, medical documentation with you. And there's no specific way to package it. It's an allowed item. And as any allowed items, uh, you're allowed to have it simply.